My name is Karthik Vedagiri. I work as a consultant with the Global Technology and Services Practice with Hydrogen Struggles and I'm based out of the Bangalore office for the firm. I think the role of a Chief Technology Officer has significantly evolved, especially in the last three years or so. For starters, I believe that the role of a CTO has become much more multifaceted than ever before, especially in the Indian ecosystem. Today, the CTO is expected to work a lot more cross-functionally, be it across product organizations, across marketing organizations, across the operations organization, or indeed with the business leaders themselves. The second aspect I believe the role of a CTO has evolved is also that CTOs are today expected to build tech platforms that scale and keep pace with the rising consumer demand. One, that the CTO needs to respond not only to the ever-increasing consumer demand, but also to the fact that consumer demands are changing very frequently. So therefore, the technology must be built to last and must be capable of adjusting itself or the CTO must be nimble and flexible enough to adjust the technology paradigm in response to the changing user preferences. The second is that given that we are living in a world full of ransomware attacks, the CTO must build technology and product portfolios that are not only resilient, but are capable of withstanding these attacks. And cybersecurity is a theme that will run front and center of any CTO of the future. The CTO today needs to be more collaborative than he or she ever was because today technology is ingrained within every sub-organization within large organizations. So, for instance, the CTO must be open enough to take feedback from the product organization, from the operations organizations, from the supply chain organization, from indeed the customers. The second feature that the CTO must increasingly exhibit is the fact that he or she must have the foresight to look at future trends. Today, everyone is talking about generative AI, it's not technology for technology's sake, but he or she must be able to discern what is the right technology for driving business outcomes and be able to leverage that and run with it in terms of building the capacities, the capabilities within the organization to help the organization not only ride the wave, but actually take advantage of the huge market opportunity and the CTO will play a very central role at that. One is to have a continuous learner's mindset Today's technology paradigm is not only fast evolving, but also evolving across its breadth. So therefore, it is best served for any person to be well abreast with the new evolving technology and be ahead of time in terms of being able to adapt that just in time for your own enterprise to be able to not only ride the wave, but also leverage technology to its best. The second tip I would give anybody again who is on the path to CTO would be to be always on the lookout to build a complementary skill set based team, which is to say that, look, I look back at my team and say, do I have people in my team who are constantly complementing each other in terms of not only the technology skill sets, but also the leadership attributes so that you have a complete technology organization that can power for the future and is almost future ready.